Multiple sclerosis involves symptoms that are interconnected. In this video, I'm going to share a story of how we help someone think more clearly by stopping cramps in their calves. Seriously, don't turn away. That starts right now. Hey! Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. A big part of multiple sclerosis care is managing chronic symptoms. People with MS can develop a lot of chronic neurological symptoms, and a lot of them are invisible or not obvious to the casual observer. Things like the up there's that I talk about a lot on this channel. I'm talking about thinking and memory. I'm talking about energy levels. I'm talking about mood, the up there's. There's also a bunch of down there's. This means bowel, bladder, sexual function. And people with MS can have problems in these domains. And to the casual observer, well, honey, you look so good. There obviously are many, many more symptoms that someone can experience. A common one, again, something I talk about on this channel, is spasticity. Spasticity is a situation where the muscles that oppose each other are in a fight and that manifests clinically as cramps like a charley horse when you have a hard contraction of the muscle belly and it hurts really bad or a spasm when the leg or the arm might jerk or a limb that's hard to bend. And these symptoms, all of them are interconnected or intertwined. So as I help someone impacted by MS improve their life, we have to literally unravel and understand the connections so that we can make them better. In this video, I'm going to share with you a recent success where we help someone think more clearly by helping their spasticity. Let me explain. During the course of the conversation, we started to talk about cognition and they shared that they felt that their cognition was impaired. They were having difficulty with short-term memory and some other cognitive domains. And their significant other pointed out, well, gosh, do you think that's because you're not sleeping? Hmm. So then we start talking about sleeping. They share that they're sleeping literally only four hours a night at the longest stretch. And when I ask why, it's because they're having spasticity. The way they took their baclofen before bed and it, when the spasticity started perfectly aligned with that drug wearing off in their system. And so when the drug wore off, wow, they were having cramps and spasms in their legs that woke them up. Once we understood this, we changed the timing of the doses. And as a result, they didn't have spasms and cramps through the night. As a result, they slept better through the night. As a result, they were less sleep deprived and they thought more clearly. And I am super excited about this. I wanted to share this story with you to help you appreciate the interconnectedness of MS symptoms and how working to help someone with MS live their best life despite having the disease involves a bit of detective work sometimes and a bit of working together as a team to unravel those symptoms. My name's Aaron Boster and thank you for learning about MS with me. If you'd like to learn more about MS symptoms, click the video that's on the screen right now. And until my next video or my next live stream, or the next time I see you in clinic, take care.